I'm Anna Berry and this is Unscripted. There has been a lot of focus on Oklahoma teachers lately and they are planning a statewide walkout April 2nd on Monday. So I wanted to speak with a local teacher. Please welcome Crystal Medina, a science teacher at Webster Middle School. Thank you, Crystal. Thank you for having me. So tell me a little bit about you. How long have you been a teacher and what are some of the problems that you are struggling with as a teacher here in Oklahoma? I was raised here in Tulsa. I um, finished school here in Tulsa and I've been a teacher for going on my third year and it's been on the west side the whole time. Some of the struggles that I've had as a teacher are really large class sizes. So sometimes I'll start out with 38 students, um, a lot of them with varying needs, with no help in the classroom. Um, I'm a science teacher. 38 students. 38. Okay. And technically we're supposed to have 25 or less um, to be able to complete labs due to safety reasons and such. Sure. And other issues that I have are supplies. So it was really difficult because I was funding quite a bit of it out of my own pocket. Out of your own pocket. Yes. And Oklahoma is one of the lowest paid for teachers in the nation. That is correct. If not the lowest. So do you mind me asking what do you make as a teacher, science um, teacher? As my, In my third year and TBS pays above the state minimum pay scale but as a third year teacher I make 33.7 337. So, mm -hmm. And do you have any part-time work? Yes, I um, do a stipend job, so I am the science department lead for my school, and then I also run Academic Bowl for the school, and then I participate in a Cornerstones grant, which is a curriculum development grant. So that's just three other things that I do on top of my job. And a mother, <laughs> yes. an important job too. Governor Mary Fallon and the lawmakers just recently gave the teachers a $6,100 raise. Why is that not enough? Is it too little too late? Um, it may be in some sense, but the fact that it was approximately a 6,100 pay raise, it's going to look different for the different districts. For instance, Tulsa Public Schools um, pays above the state um, minimum pay scale. So we are struggling with the, um, the teachers that are the steps at the higher end of the steps. So we have 10 extra steps across above the state minimum. And we don't know what it's going to look like for them. It's not going to be a $6,100 pay raise for every single teacher. They've had countless times, countless years to get this right, and their uh, priorities have not been in education. How did we get here? How did we get to the state that we're at with teachers, one of the most important jobs? Um, I feel that we got here due to what our administration's priorities were. So they wanted businesses to come into Tulsa, and with that, incentives are usually given. So those incentives are come in the form of a tax break, and no one wants to pay taxes, obviously, but um, as adults, we know that's one of the expectations, and with out taxes then ultimately it's going to be extremely difficult to fund core services such as mental health services or education there are different ways to raise taxes it can either be on the backs of the poor man or it can be on the backs of the companies that want something that our state has to give have you ever thought about leaving Oklahoma and going to another state to I have teach? I have but um, the relationship with my uh, mom and my daughter having a relationship with her is just a little bit more important right now. Well, let's talk about the statewide walkout happening on Monday, April 2nd. Why are you walking? I am walking because I'm walking for the teachers um, whose districts won't let them walk. I am walking for the extremely large classrooms. I'm walking for the support staff that were kind of thrown to the wayside with this particular bill that was um, passed here as of lately. They, you know, OEA, Oklahoma Education Association, has asked for a $5,000 pay raise for support staff, which, you know, they are the backbone of the schools and they are needed extremely. And um, the legislators thought that it was only worth $1,200 and I, I'm walking for them to have their voice heard and ultimately I'm walking for all of my students. For all of us out there watching as Oklahomans, what can we do to help support our teachers? So there are multiple things that can um, happen. You can either come down to the Capitol with us um, this week. Um, there's estimated to be about 30,000 teachers there. Then there are multiple rallies being formed here in Tulsa. You could check with the schools, um, the, the food banks, to see if they need any volunteers. Because, so volunteers, yes, volunteers and money. Volunteers, money, water, um, because I know specifically on Wednesday of this week, I'm, we're doing the March for Education, so we are walking to the Capitol. And things such as food, breakfast, lunch, dinner, water, um, just relief measures also are going to be needed. Cool. Well, thank you so much, yes. Crystal, for speaking your opinion and your personal experience about yes. this very critical issue that affects all of us 
here in Oklahoma. Thank you. So we wish you wonderful luck on this march. And thank you, Fuel 66, for allowing us to shoot this video here. Thank you for watching. I'm Anna Berry, and this is Unscripted.